Hello, my YouTube friends and health enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel, where I dive deep into the world of wellness and nutrition. My name is Nikolai Ninev. I am a certified food expert and pharmacist. Today, I am shining the spotlight on a fascinating nutrient that's been creating quite a buzz in the world of wellness and beauty, biotin, also known as vitamin B7. Biotin has garnered fame for its potential benefits to hair, skin, and nail health. But there's more to this B vitamin than meets the eye. What does the science say about it? How much should you take, and what are the possible side effects? In this episode, I am unraveling the truth about biotin. I'll explore its scientifically backed health benefits, recommended dosages, and the precautions you should be aware of. Whether you're considering adding biotin to your routine or just curious about its impact, this video is for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for more health and wellness insights. Let's discover the world of biotin together. Biotin, also known as vitamin B7 or vitamin H, is a water-soluble vitamin that plays a crucial role in the body. This essential vitamin is produced by bacteria in the gut. Biotin is a part of the B vitamin complex, a group of key nutrients needed for healthy metabolic, nerve, digestive, and cardiovascular functions. Biotin specifically helps the body metabolize carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. It acts as a coenzyme in the body, which means it helps enzymes break down these nutrients and convert them into energy that the body can use. Biotin is also essential for maintaining healthy hair, skin, and nails, which is why it's often included in beauty supplements and products. It helps to maintain the structure of keratin, the basic protein that makes up hair, skin, and nails. Several studies have shown that biotin can improve the health of hair and nails, reducing hair loss and making nails stronger. Moreover, biotin plays a role in gene regulation and cell signaling, and it's necessary for the function of several enzymes. It plays a role in the process of copying and transcribing DNA, which is essential for cell division and the production of new cells. This is particularly important for rapidly dividing cells, such as those in the skin and hair follicles. Biotin is also involved in the process of gluconeogenesis, which is the production of glucose from sources other than carbohydrates, such as amino acids and fats. Additionally, biotin aids in maintaining a healthy nervous system. It helps in the synthesis of neurotransmitters, which are chemicals that transmit signals in the brain. This can potentially improve cognitive function and reduce the risk of neurodegenerative diseases. Research has also indicated that biotin can help regulate blood sugar levels, making it potentially beneficial for individuals with diabetes. It does this by facilitating the activity of insulin, the hormone responsible for regulating blood sugar levels. In terms of cardiovascular health, biotin has been found to help lower levels of LDL cholesterol. High levels of LDL cholesterol can lead to the development of heart disease. By helping to lower these levels, biotin can potentially reduce the risk of heart disease. Exploring the link between biotin and hair health. One of the most notable areas where biotin's impact is observed is in hair health. It is often recommended for strengthening hair and nails and is found in many cosmetic products for these purposes. However, these effects are not guaranteed and can vary from person to person. The connection between biotin and hair health is primarily due to the role of this vitamin in the production of keratin, a type of protein that makes up hair, skin, and nails. Several studies have suggested that biotin can help improve hair health, especially in individuals with a biotin deficiency. Biotin deficiency, although rare, can lead to hair loss, which indicates that the vitamin is important for hair health. Supplementing with biotin can help reverse these effects by strengthening the hair follicles and promoting hair growth. However, it's important to note that the effectiveness of biotin in improving hair health in individuals who are not deficient is still a topic of ongoing research. In one study, a biotin deficiency was found in 38% of women complaining of hair loss. Of these participants, 11% had a history of deficiency risk factors such as inflammatory bowel disease or the use of certain medications like antibiotics. 
While this study didn't assess the effects of biotin supplements or biotin added hair products on preventing hair loss, it demonstrates the link between hair loss and inadequate biotin levels. Other causes of hair loss include androgenetic alopecia, also known as female pattern baldness, rapid weight loss, other nutritional deficiencies like iron, zinc, or protein, and certain hormonal diseases like thyroid disorder. Due to the multiple factors involved in hair loss and thinning, supplementing with biotin without determining the cause can prevent or delay the appropriate treatment in instances where a biotin deficiency isn't at fault. Even in cases where a biotin deficiency is present, biotin supplements may not necessarily prevent hair loss. For example, researchers in one study prescribed a biotin supplement to 22 patients with low biotin levels for hair loss following gastric sleeve surgery. After three months, five of the patients reported a significant decline in hair loss, 14 reported a small effect, and three reported no effect, demonstrating that other factors may also be at play when it comes to hair loss and its prevention. Despite the lack of definitive scientific evidence, many people take biotin supplements in the hopes of improving their hair health. Exploring the link between biotin and skin health. Biotin plays a vital role in the health of the skin. It is involved in the metabolism of fatty acids, which are essential for maintaining skin health. These fatty acids help to maintain the skin's moisture and flexibility, and a deficiency in biotin can lead to dry, scaly skin. Biotin also plays a role in the production of keratin, a protein that is a key structural component of the skin, hair, and nails. By supporting keratin production, biotin can help to strengthen the skin's outer layer, which can protect the skin from environmental damage and help to maintain its overall health. Research has shown that biotin supplements can improve skin health in people with certain conditions. For example, a study published in the Journal of Clinical and Aesthetic Dermatology found that biotin supplements improved skin health in women with brittle nail syndrome. However, more research is needed to understand the full extent of biotin's role in skin health. Biotin and its impact on nail strength. One of the most well-known benefits of biotin is its ability to strengthen nails. Several scientific studies have found that biotin supplementation can help improve nail strength and durability. For instance, a study published in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology found that patients with brittle nail syndrome who took biotin supplements showed a 25% increase in nail plate thickness. Another study found that biotin supplementation can help improve nail firmness and hardness in individuals with brittle nails. The researchers concluded that biotin could be used as a successful treatment for brittle nails, improving both their physical appearance and the patient's symptoms. Despite these promising results, it's important to note that more research is needed to fully understand the effects of biotin on nail health. Most studies have been small and short-term, and the optimal dosage of biotin for nail health has not been definitively established. Generally, the recommended dietary allowance for biotin is 30 micrograms per day for adults. However, for treating conditions like brittle nails, higher doses may be used under medical supervision. The Role of Biotin in Energy Metabolism Biotin plays a crucial role in energy metabolism. It functions as a coenzyme in the metabolism of macronutrients, namely carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. This means that biotin is essential for the body to convert these macronutrients into energy. In the metabolism of carbohydrates, biotin aids in the enzymatic reactions that convert glucose into energy. It's involved in the process known as gluconeogenesis, which is the production of glucose from sources other than carbohydrates, such as amino acids and fats. This is crucial for maintaining blood sugar levels. When it comes to fat metabolism, biotin is involved in the synthesis of fatty acids. It also aids in the breakdown of fatty acids for energy production. This is particularly important for the brain and other organs that rely heavily on energy from fats. In protein metabolism, biotin assists in the transfer of amino acids, the building blocks of proteins, and the synthesis of certain amino acids. This is vital for the growth and repair of cells and tissues. 
Moreover, biotin is involved in the production of ATP, the molecule that carries energy within cells. This is a critical process, as ATP is the primary energy currency in the body and is used for a wide range of cellular functions. Biotin and Pregnancy – What Expecting Mothers Should Know During pregnancy, the demand for biotin increases, making it an important nutrient for expecting mothers. Pregnant women may experience biotin deficiency due to increased demand, leading to potential health risks for both the mother and the unborn child. A biotin deficiency during pregnancy may increase the risk of birth defects. Therefore, an adequate intake of biotin is important. Research suggests that biotin is safe to consume during pregnancy. The recommended daily intake of biotin for pregnant women is 30 micrograms. This can be obtained from a balanced diet or from prenatal vitamins, which often contain biotin. Before starting any new supplement during pregnancy, it's always best to consult with a healthcare provider. They can provide personalized advice based on individual health needs and circumstances. It's also important to remember that supplements should not replace a balanced diet. Biotin and Diabetes, a Promising Connection Biotin has been studied for its potential role in managing diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes. Several studies suggest that biotin supplementation, in combination with other nutrients like chromium, could help lower blood sugar levels in people with diabetes. Biotin can accelerate the conversion of glucose into energy, preventing blood sugar from climbing too high. Biotin may also enhance the effects of insulin. As we know, insulin is the hormone that regulates blood sugar levels. This could potentially help individuals with diabetes manage their condition more effectively. However, the research is not entirely conclusive. While some studies have shown promising results, others have found no significant effects of biotin on blood sugar levels. Therefore, more extensive research is needed to fully understand the potential benefits of biotin for diabetes management. In terms of dosage, the recommended daily intake of biotin varies depending on age, sex, and health status. For adults, the general guideline is 30 to 100 micrograms per day. However, higher doses may be used for specific conditions under medical supervision, especially for individuals with chronic conditions like diabetes. Can biotin improve cognitive function, a scientific perspective? Biotin plays a crucial role in the metabolism of fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. It's also involved in the regulation of gene expression, cell signaling, and histone modifications. Histones are proteins that condense and package DNA neatly into chromosomes. Modifications to these proteins affect different processes in the cell, such as the activation or inactivation of transcription, chromosome packaging, DNA damage, and DNA repair. The modification of histones plays a key role in gene expression. At least nine different types of histone modifications have been discovered. Acetylation, methylation, phosphorylation, and ubiquitylation are the most well understood. There is also some evidence to suggest that biotin could have a positive impact on cognitive function. Biotin is necessary for the normal functioning of the nervous system, and deficiencies in this vitamin have been linked to neurological symptoms such as seizures, ataxia, and cognitive impairment. This suggests that adequate biotin intake could be important for maintaining cognitive health. Furthermore, biotin is involved in the synthesis of myelin, a fatty substance that insulates nerve fibers and enhances the speed and accuracy of electrical signals between neurons. Myelin is crucial for cognitive processes such as learning and memory. Therefore, by supporting myelin synthesis, biotin could potentially contribute to improved cognitive function. However, it's important to note that most of the research on biotin and cognitive function has been conducted in animal models or in people with biotin deficiencies. There is currently limited evidence to suggest that biotin supplementation can improve cognitive function in healthy individuals. The Role of Biotin in Managing Multiple Sclerosis Recent research has suggested that high doses of biotin may also have potential benefits for people with multiple sclerosis. 
Multiple sclerosis is a chronic disease that affects the central nervous system, specifically the brain and spinal cord. It's characterized by inflammation and the destruction of myelin, the protective covering of nerve fibers. This damage disrupts the normal flow of electrical impulses along the nerves, leading to a range of symptoms such as fatigue, difficulty walking, numbness or tingling, muscle weakness and spasms, and problems with coordination and balance. Several studies have explored the potential role of biotin in managing multiple sclerosis. A study published in the journal Multiple Sclerosis and Related Disorders in 2015 found that high-dose biotin treatment improved symptoms in a significant number of participants with progressive multiple sclerosis. The researchers suggested that biotin might help by promoting the production of myelin, reducing inflammation, and boosting energy production in nerve cells. Another study, published in the journal Neurology in 2016, showed that high-dose biotin could reduce disability and improve mobility in some people with progressive multiple sclerosis. However, the study also noted that more research is needed to confirm these findings and to understand exactly how biotin works in the body to produce these effects. Despite the promising findings, it's important to note that high-dose biotin is not a cure for multiple sclerosis and it doesn't work for everyone. Some people may not respond to the treatment and others may experience side effects. Furthermore, the optimal dosage of biotin for multiple sclerosis treatment is still a matter of debate. The studies mentioned above used a high dose of 300 mg per day, which is much higher than the recommended daily intake for general health. Therefore, anyone considering high-dose biotin treatment should do so under the supervision of a healthcare provider. The link between biotin and cardiovascular health. Several studies suggest that biotin may help lower levels of LDL cholesterol, often referred to as bad cholesterol. Biotin promotes the breakdown and transformation of lipids, known as triglycerides and cholesterol, in the body. This process is known as lipid metabolism. By helping to reduce these levels and prevent hyperlipidemia, biotin may contribute to the maintenance of a healthy cardiovascular system. Additionally, biotin is known to work in synergy with chromium, a mineral that plays a role in the metabolism of glucose. Some research indicates that the combination of biotin and chromium can help improve blood sugar control in people with type 2 diabetes, a condition that can increase the risk of heart disease. Despite these potential benefits, more research is needed to fully understand the relationship between biotin and cardiovascular health. Most of the existing studies have been conducted on animals or in vitro, and human-based research is limited. Therefore, while biotin may contribute to heart health, it should not be used as a standalone treatment for cardiovascular disease. Recommended dosage of biotin. The recommended dosage of biotin can vary depending on the individual's age, health status, and nutritional needs. Biotin is a water-soluble vitamin, which means that excess amounts are excreted from the body rather than stored. However, the National Institutes of Health provides some general guidelines. For adults over 19 years old, the adequate intake is set at 30 micrograms per day. Pregnant women are advised to consume 30 micrograms and breastfeeding women 35 micrograms per day. For children, the National Institutes of Health suggests a lower intake. Infants up to 6 months should get 5 micrograms. Babies from 7 to 12 months should get 6 micrograms. Children from 1 to 3 years should consume 8 micrograms, those from 4 to 8 years should consume 12 micrograms, and those from 9 to 13 years should consume 20 micrograms. Adolescents from 14 to 18 should consume 25 micrograms per day. It's important to note that these are just guidelines, and individual needs may vary. Biotin Deficiency, Causes, Symptoms, and Prevention the human body does naturally produce biotin. This essential vitamin is produced by bacteria in the gut. These bacteria synthesize biotin from the food we consume. While our bodies do produce biotin, it's not always enough to meet our nutritional needs. Despite the body's ability to produce biotin, deficiencies can still occur. 
This is often due to factors such as a poor diet, certain medications, prolonged antibiotic use, and specific genetic disorders that affect biotin absorption or metabolism. It's also worth noting that, while the body does produce biotin, it does not store it. This is because biotin is a water-soluble vitamin. This means any excess biotin we consume is excreted through urine, making it necessary to regularly replenish our biotin levels. A deficiency in this essential nutrient can lead to a variety of health problems. The symptoms of biotin deficiency can be quite varied and may include hair loss, brittle nails, a red scaly rash around the eyes, nose, and mouth, neurological problems like depression, lethargy, hallucinations, and numbness and tingling in the extremities. In infants, biotin deficiency can lead to developmental delays and growth retardation. Diagnosing biotin deficiency typically involves blood tests to measure the levels of biotin in the body. If the levels are low, a diagnosis of biotin deficiency is made. Treating biotin deficiency typically involves biotin supplementation. The exact dosage will depend on the severity of the deficiency and the individual's overall health. In some cases, treating the underlying cause of the deficiency, such as changing the diet or medication, may also be necessary. Preventing biotin deficiency involves consuming a balanced diet that includes biotin-rich foods. These foods include organ meats, especially beef liver, cooked eggs, fish, especially salmon and sardines, meat, whole grains and cereals, almonds, walnuts, sunflower seeds, nutritional and brewer's yeast, avocados, dairy products like milk, cheese, and yogurt, and sweet potatoes. Some fruits, like bananas and raspberries, contain moderate amounts of biotin. In some cases, biotin supplements may also be recommended. However, it's important to note that taking too much biotin can also have side effects. These can include skin rashes, digestive upset, problems with insulin release, and kidney problems. Therefore, it's important to follow the recommended dosage. Side effects of biotin. What does science say? Biotin is generally considered safe and non-toxic, even at high doses. However, like any other supplement, consuming too much biotin can potentially lead to adverse effects. According to the National Institutes of Health, one of the most significant side effects of high biotin intake is skewed results on certain lab tests. This includes tests for troponin, a marker of heart damage, which can lead to misdiagnosis and improper treatment. Other tests that can be affected include thyroid and hormone tests, as well as tests for certain neurological disorders. Skin rashes, digestive upset, and problems with insulin release and skin health have also been reported as potential side effects of biotin. However, these are less common and typically occur with high-dose biotin supplements. While biotin is water-soluble and excess amounts are usually excreted in urine, long-term use of high doses can potentially lead to an imbalance of other B vitamins. This is because the B vitamins compete for absorption in the intestines. Furthermore, there have been rare reports of allergic reactions to biotin. Symptoms can include nausea, swelling of the face or throat, and skin rashes. Anyone experiencing these symptoms after taking biotin should seek medical attention. Lastly, the National Institutes of Health advises that even though biotin is considered safe, it's always best to consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new supplement regimen. This is particularly important for pregnant or breastfeeding women, people with underlying health conditions, and those taking other medications. Interactions between biotin and other nutrients. As we know, biotin plays a crucial role in the metabolism of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, but it is also essential for the proper functioning of many enzymes in the body. However, biotin doesn't work alone. It interacts with other nutrients, which can either enhance or inhibit its absorption and effectiveness. Biotin and other B vitamins, such as B5, pantothenic acid, B9, folic acid, and B12, cobalamin, often work together in the body. They are cofactors in many metabolic processes. For instance, B vitamins help convert food into energy. 
Therefore, a deficiency in one B vitamin can affect the body's ability to use the others effectively. Protein-bound biotin found in food sources is absorbed better in the presence of dietary protein. This is because the stomach's hydrochloric acid helps to separate biotin from the protein, allowing it to be absorbed into the body. Therefore, consuming adequate protein can enhance biotin absorption. Raw egg whites contain a protein called avidin that binds with biotin and prevents its absorption. Cooking egg whites denatures avidin, reducing its ability to bind with biotin. Therefore, consuming large quantities of raw egg whites can lead to biotin deficiency. Alcohol can also interfere with biotin absorption. Chronic alcohol consumption can lead to biotin deficiency by inhibiting the absorption of biotin in the intestines and increasing its excretion in urine. Antibiotics can affect the gut microbiota, which is responsible for producing a small amount of biotin. Long-term use of antibiotics can therefore potentially lead to biotin deficiency. Anticonvulsant medications, such as carbamazepine, phenobarbital, and primidone, can reduce biotin levels in the body. These medications increase the breakdown of biotin in the liver, leading to lower biotin levels. Lastly, biotin supplements can interfere with laboratory tests, leading to falsely high or low results. This is particularly true for tests measuring thyroid and hormone levels, cardiac troponin levels, and other lab tests. Therefore, it's important to inform your healthcare provider if you are taking biotin supplements. And that brings us to the end of our journey through the science of biotin. It's fascinating how this vitamin plays such a crucial role in our overall well-being, isn't it? I hope this video has enlightened you about biotin's benefits, the right dosages, and the importance of being aware of its side effects. I hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and helps you make informed choices about your nutritional needs. As always, I remind you to consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement regimen. Your body is unique, and what works for one might not work for all. If you've enjoyed this video and found it informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And as always, if you have any questions or want to share your experiences, feel free to leave a comment down below. I love hearing from my viewers. Your feedback is invaluable and inspires me to keep creating informative content. Thank you for watching, and remember, your health is your wealth. Stay well, stay healthy, and take care. Until next time.